one of the things about creating citizens in Europe has in fact been trying to create people of the same kind, of trying to create a common history, a common language, a common sense of awareness and selfhood in Europe. And this has been largely successful uh, till lately when a lot of migrants from the former Euro colonies of Europe and the outer peripheries from Turkey, North Africa began to come in as substantial minorities. How do you deal with them? Initially, they were willing to accept, uh, to assimilate, but now there is increasingly, uh, because they've been treated as second class or different citizens, like the guest arbiter, the guest workers in uh, Germany, from Turkey and so on, there has been an attempt to assert that their own identity with wearing the hijab, the, the, uh, the, uh, the Muslim scarf, trying to uh, assert a Muslim identity, for instance, other identities, and how does Europe assimilate this? I, one way would be, in fact, to look at how formerly multilingual, multi-ethnic colonies in Africa, in Asia, uh, India, Malaysia, have looked at this. Because one of the problems, I think, is also the fact that these immigrant communities are not homogenous units. A Muslim girl might not want to wear the hijab or might want to wear the hijab. Uh, so by affirming the identities is also could also be con coercive. How do you, uh, and therefore to look at how these multi-ethnic, multi-lingual societies in other countries outside of Europe have handled these issues. Maybe something which is uh, what Europe could learn. 